back to Beauty's Kitchen and if you're new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and in today's video I want to share with you how to make my delicious barbecue prawn rice. As I just mentioned, today I want to share with you how to make a delicious barbecue prawn rice. So this recipe is really easy. And as we are in the midst of winter, I thought this was probably a good time to start making barbecue prawns. I'm sure we're all missing the summer months now. I know I am and I really fancy a barbecue, but I don't want to go outside and stand in the cold. So instead, I thought of this recipe and it uses barbecue sauce. I am using one that I found in the supermarket that is actually quite good. Um, this isn't an advert for Dr. Wheels, but this is a really great company, I have to say. And they make really nice um, barbecue sauces, ketchups, lots of different things. And there's no gunk, no junk. And it's just naturally very tasty as well. So yes, as I said, this isn't an advert though, but I just really like this product. And I'm going to be using it in these barbecue prawns. So the first thing I've done is I've put a large pan and I'm going to put that onto a high heat on my hob and then I'm going to add a little bit of oil which is the one thing I've forgotten to grab from the cupboard but luckily it's quite near. So I'm just going to add the oil in and then I'm just going to leave this pan to heat up. The pan is getting nice and hot so what I've done is I have topped and tailed so I've removed the tops and the bottoms just a little bit from the spring onions so I'm using one bunch of spring onions so I think that's about six to eight spring onions there and then I've just simply sliced and diced them sorry I've just simply sliced them into about a half centimeter pieces so I'm just going to throw those into the base of the pan like so and I'm going to fry the onions the spring onions now until they start to soften and go a golden brown colour. Actually, while I'm frying the onions, I just thought this would be a good time to say that if you have enjoyed this video today and you want to see more, then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you did really enjoy this video, then please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and leave any comments below as well. All of that really helps me out. And also, I wanted to add that my son has a little YouTube channel. Now, I wouldn't do this normally, but he is um, he's getting quite good at making these little shorts. It's a football channel, so if you like football, then it might be up your street, or if you know someone who likes football, it's T TX3D, and it's Football Edit. I will link it in the description box below for you. So yes, if you want to go over and support him, then I would really appreciate it, and so would he. I won't be doing this again, I promise. I just said I'd do it the once. So hopefully this video will be successful and then his channel will be successful from this video as well. So yes, I will leave everything in the description box below for you. And um, yeah, we would both really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe to our channel. The onions have started to soften now and they have started to go a lovely golden brown colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in my red pepper. So I have sliced the top from the red pepper and then just removed the core and the stalk and then peeled, not peeled, um, sliced and diced the flesh of the pepper. So I'm just going to add that to the base of the pan as well, like so. Until this starts to sort of soften, it will always feel quite hard and crunchy, I have to say. But it does take a little while, and after a little while, it does start to soften ever so slightly, I have to say. So just persevere and keep going if you are frying the pepper, and just let it soften, just keep stirring it round. Also, I'm going to turn the heat down at this point as well, because it is slightly hot. I don't think I need to add any water to the base of the pan yet, but I did need to turn the heat down there. It took probably about three minutes and the peppers have started to soften. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a courgette. So I peeled one courgette and then I simply grated it. And the reason I grate it is so that my husband and son don't know it's in there. I think they're getting a little bit used to this trick now. I think they do actually know it's in there, but they can't pick it out. So. 
that's the reason why I like to grate it and also I find it cooks a lot quicker as well if I grate it but if you don't want to grate it then you don't have to you could slice it if you wanted to and you don't even have to peel it either you could just simply leave the skin on I like to peel it because then they don't say oh what's that green stuff in there so yes sneaky mummy I'm being that's me right now in my life a sneaky mummy so yes I'm just gonna keep frying this I just want the courgette to heat through basically I don't really want it to um, like uh, sort of get golden brown or anything I just need it to heat through and get warm so it cooks well and then I've got some green beans here as well so I've got some sliced frozen green beans and I'm just gonna add these in and fry those off as well um, and I do like to cook these in with the broth. You could put these in at the end if you don't, if you think they go a bit too soggy. But honestly, I don't think they do. They cook perfectly in here, even when I've added the broth and the rice in as well. So yes, I'm just going to keep stirring these for a further few minutes, and then I will add in the rice. As I said earlier, I'm going to add in the rice now as well. I'm going to fry the rice until it becomes see-through and clear. You could use risotto rice for this recipe if you wanted to. I'm just using some brown basmati rice and I find this cooks perfectly in here. I don't need to use risotto rice at all. Um, but you can also use white rice. It will cook quicker with white, white rice and risotto rice. Brown rice does generally tend to take a lot longer to cook. Um, but I do find brown rice a lot tastier in my opinion so that's why I like to use brown rice so I'm just stirring this for about 30 seconds or so I think the rice has started to become lovely and see through and clear so I'm going to add in my tomatoes now so I've got one tin of tomatoes that I'm going to add to the base of the pan like so and then I've also got some chicken stock as well that I'm going to add in and I'm going to pour that into the tin and then that is going to get rid of the juice from around the outside of the tin so I'm just going to pour all those ingredients and I'm going to stir those round and then I'm going to add in my barbecue sauce Dr Will's barbecue sauce if you can't get Dr Will's then you can use any type of barbecue sauce you like for this recipe but as I said this one is really tasty so if you can get a hold of it then honestly it is delicious we really like it and then I'm also going to add in some tamari as well to that and tamari is just soya sauce it's just fermented for a bit longer um, so if you can't get tamari then you can also use uh, soya sauce I use that because it's gluten free and I have a slight gluten intolerance so that's why I like to use it and now I'm just going to stir these ingredients together I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper as well the one thing I normally always forget New Year's resolution or New Year's goal is to try not to forget the salt and pepper in food it does make it slightly tastier you can add as much or as little as you like you don't have to add any at all if you don't want to and now I'm going to turn the heat back up I'm just going to check there's enough liquid in there first so yeah there's plenty of liquid in there so what I like to do is I like to add enough liquid to cook the rice so what's going to happen is this is going to boil down and there's going to be no liquid left in the pan it's just simply going to be soaked up by the rice and the vegetables hopefully but you have to have a certain amount so I always tend to measure it by the line on my middle finger I like to put the spoon into the uh, saucepan and when it touches the top of the ingredients that's when there's uh, that's when you know it's done and you pull it out and if it if the line hits the bottom if the so when you measure it if um, if that line is about two and a half centimeters I think it is then that is fine that's perfect that's just enough amount of water I've 
don't think you understood that at all, but never mind. I'm going to carry on. It's Saturday morning. I'm a little bit sleepy at the moment. So, yes, I'm just going to turn the heat up. I have done a video on how to cook brown rice and I do use the same method when I do something like this, like a meal like this as well. So I will link that video if I can find it in the description box below for you and it will show you how to cook brown rice and I use that with every brown rice recipe that I make so yes. Anyway I'm going to put the lid on, I'm going to let this come to the boil and then I will turn the heat down and leave it to simmer. So the pan has started to come to the boil, I'm going to leave the lid on and now I'm going to do is just turn it down to a medium heat and I'm going to let the uh, liquid simmer away with the rice and all the other ingredients and then most of the liquid has disappeared I will take the lid off and see how it looks. Normally there is still a little bit of liquid left at the end so I do like to stir it round if there is but I'll show you that when I get to that point. As you can see the rice has cooked, all of the liquid has disappeared so that will mean that the rice is cooked and trust me it is lovely and tender when it cooks like this as well. Um, I did give it a little stir about two minutes ago and there was a little bit of liquid there but it has completely disappeared now so what I'm going to do is the final thing I'm going to do is just add in some prawns so I have about 500 grams of uncooked prawns here um, you can use cooked prawns but what I would do is just simply remove the rice from the heat and then just add the prawns in well as they're uncooked though you do have to let them cook so you just simply put them in the rice and just keep stirring them round until they turn a lovely pink colour. All of them have to go pink before you can remove this from the heat. And they will go pink, I promise you. It'll probably take about two to four minutes and then that is it. So this dish has probably taken me about 30 to 40 minutes to prepare and cook. Um, so it's not, a, it's not a particularly short dish to make, but it's an easy dish for a winter's night when you want something delicious and simple to eat. So yes, I think they're cooking. I'm just gonna to continue to stir these round until all of the prawns have cooked. Prawns have cooked. They've gone a lovely pink color. Now you don't wanna leave prawns on the heat too long because otherwise they would go a little bit rubbery. And as I've said in the past, no one likes a rubbery prawn, do they? So yes. I'm just going to simply remove this from the heat and then I will serve some into a bowl, try it and let you know how it tastes. As you can see I have served some into a bowl and I'm just going to try a little bit of the prawn with some of the rice as well. It smells delicious I have to say, it does smell like a barbecue in here. Oh, I wish it was a bit warmer at the moment but we're getting there, spring's on its way so... Mm. Oh that's so good. The rice is really tender, the prawns are delicious. I might have to have a little bit more of that actually. That was really nice. There's spice, it's slightly spicy but not too hot. But it does taste smoky and barbecue-y as well. So yes, I'm really looking forward to having this for my dinner today. I promise you it's, it smells that good, I can't wait. That's how you make my delicious barbecue prawn rice and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to be having this for our dinner this evening and it smells and tastes so good, I can't wait. So for now, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you soon. Bye.